Here in Beaver County forced five people from their home. And they think they know how it started. Ralph Iannotti joins us live from Beaver County to explain. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, Ken. Tonight, some 24 hours after a devastating fire here, a family here in Beaver County uh, is uh, staying with relatives tonight. Uh, they're thankful that no one was seriously hurt, and at the same time, they're pondering their future. I didn't know yesterday when I rushed out of the house it was the last time I would have somewhere to call home. For Amelia Zimmel and her fiancé, Anthony Taylor, they have no choice now but to start over. It was late Wednesday afternoon when their house in Center Township was destroyed by fire. Zimmel was not at home at the time, but Taylor was, along with her two-year-old son, Zachary, and Zimmel's 19-year-old brother. Luckily, no one was hurt. They're now all staying with relatives in Aliquippa. When he said the house was on fire, I pictured like a, the stove, or I didn't picture that the whole house was gone. It's not home unless you're with the people that mean the most to you. And they made it out alive. I smelled the smoke and then I came out and saw the curtains engulfed in flames. And then my first thought was grab my son, take him out. My second thought was try to grab some buckets from outside and get some water on it. But by the time I came back in, it was gone. The fire marshal is investigating how the fire started, but the family has their own theory. We had a candle lit and the cat had knocked it into the curtains and that's when it just engulfed. They lost their home and all their belongings. But while Zimmel and Taylor know the future will be difficult, they had nothing but praise for first responders. It was frigid, it was freezing, and I think every single one of the community firefighters and the police and the ambulance that were there to risk their time to try to save our belongings in our home. Now, Amelia's mom also lived with the couple, but she was not at home when that fire broke out. Friends have established a GoFundMe account for the family. More information on that on our website, kdka.com. Live tonight in Beaver County, I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA News on Pittsburgh CW.